Hi and welcome back to MRTV. I got a new AR headset for you. In this box, we're going to find the Rokit Air. The Rokit Air is currently available on Indiegogo and you can get it for $479. Now, this headset is all about video consumption. You plug it into your phone and then you get a 120 inch screen popping up in front of you. Now, in this video, I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to give you my first impressions. So, absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you are excited about VR and AR, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And if you want to chat with me and the MRTV community about VR and AR headsets, then also join the MRTV Discord server. I am waiting there for you right now. But now let's get to the unboxing. This is how the spinning Rokit Airbox looks like, just so you know. And now let's get to the unboxing. So here it is. And you're greeted by this hard case. And you know how much I love it when hardware manufacturers give you these kind of hard cases. Also in the box, you're going to find this USB-C to USB-C cable in order to connect this to your phone, for example. So now let's check out what's in this nice hard case. And of course, we're going to see the Rokit Air. Here it is. And it is very sleek, very cool looking and so light. The most important <laughs> you've just seen, getting rid of that protection. And yeah, it's super light, 83 grams. Absolutely stunning and these are the lightest glasses, the lightest AR glasses that I've checked out so far. However, these are not real AR glasses, right? So this, these are more like video glasses and we're going to talk more about this in this review. There are no sensors other than a proximity sensor, but these glasses are not aware of their own whereabouts. We're going to talk about this more later. Yeah, so let's check it up here. On top, you see these dials and actually you can set the diopter, which I think is fantastic for this kind of form factor. Even the Unreal Light doesn't have this. So you don't need to wear glasses here with the Rokit Air. And now let's check out here in the middle. This is the proximity sensor. So thanks to the sensor, the glasses will know if you wear them or not. Okay, what else can we find here? So yeah, I talked about these dials before and I'm going to check them out later when I put on the glasses to find out about the visual quality. And here we have the speakers. So just like, for example, the Quest 2, it's directly coming out of the glasses. Let's hope that it's loud enough. And of course, I'm going to check this out during this review. All right, as you can tell, these glasses are also kind of flexible for different kinds of head sizes. And I will also check how comfortable they are in a moment, actually. So let's get to it. Let's simply put them on. All right, really, really nice form factor. And I can only tell you that this is super light, really only 80 three grams, it just feels like normal glasses. And as always, you're going to see my first face on right now and I'm simply going to do it and I will let you know what I think about this. All right, okay, so first impressions now wearing it, it absolutely does feel like normal glasses. It is not heavy at all. It just feels, yeah just like normal shades, really, just like normal sunglasses. So that is pretty impressive. Now, the question, of course, what's going to happen when I simply connect this to my phone and I'm going to check this out now? Simply going to connect it. Let's see what happens. If I see something here now. Oh, yes. Okay, and there it is. I see the screen of my phone. 
And it looks very clear. It looks really clear. So we're looking at two micro OLED panels here. And it's the same resolution like the Unreal Light. And also like comparing it now to the Unreal Light, it is just as good. It's a very, very clear picture. And let me simply start something now. Let me simply start a YouTube video. Okay, okay. Nice. So it's a super clear image. And they're saying this would be the size of a 120 inch screen. And it is a big screen. Let's say, okay, like this. Um, I wouldn't say this is impressive in terms of FOV, right? So, well, I'm used to something like, like this for VR. <laughs> so this is more like that. But it is a very, very clear and nice picture with great colors, deep legs and very shiny colors. Also, the sound, I could easily hear that. Let me, let me put it to maximum, maximum volume. Okay, now I have some ads here. <laughs> Okay, that is, that is absolutely loud enough. That is absolutely loud enough to watch a video actually. So the thing is now, actually, well, I wouldn't call these AR glasses. I would more call them video watching glasses. The thing is, when I think about AR glasses, I think about like, yeah, putting several virtual screens here and they will stay in the air where I, wherever I put them. But here, you don't have any sensors. This headset is not aware of its whereabouts. So I cannot put that virtual screen here and I cannot walk around, around that virtual screen. This screen here now that I see of my, of my phone actually Whenever I've moved my head, it is going to move with me, right? So yeah, these are actually video glasses. And the quality, the quality of these video glass, of, this, of the video that I'm seeing is absolutely gorgeous, really good. Now the thing is, and that is even better than what we see with the Unreal Light, I can change the diopter and I can make this exactly fit my prescription and that is that is actually an advantage over the Unreal Light, right? But Well, the Unreal Light, they are real AR glasses but I absolutely love that we can simply change the diopter it has a hard time focusing right now, but now you can see it here. You have these little dials and here you can change the diopter. This is amazing. This is really good and it works very well. Cool. And in that kind of form factor. So very, very cool video glasses that I would actually wear outside. And I actually do think they even look sleeker than the Unreal Light. What are your thoughts? about that. Yeah, actually very good first impressions. It does work as advertised. It is extremely light and also how it looks. I think it's it's pretty good. I could wear that in public or when I'm on the train. It has a very small form factor and well, it does work with my Android phone. All right, I just got my Switch and my iPad mini and both have a USB-C connection. So honestly speaking, I don't think that this is going to work directly out of the box. I do think that this works with HDMI, USB-C to HDMI adapter, but not directly with these devices. But anyways, I am going to give it a try. So let's try it here with the iPad mini. And let's see if something happens here. Oh, actually, yes. 
This is surprising now to me. Yes, iPad mini works absolutely fine. Cool, this is really good news. So I see my iPad screen now here floating in front of me. And if I wanted to watch a video, let me also do that here right now. Let's see, let's check out Netflix. Okay, cool. And actually it is loud enough. It is loud enough and the picture quality is beautiful. I can absolutely watch a movie like this. Yes. So for the size, well, they say it's 120 inch. Let me stop this. They would say this is a 120 inch TV. The question is just how far away is that 120 inch TV, right? So I told you like this, this is it's floating in front of me like, like this now. And if I would compare it to my iPad mini screen here now, if I put my iPad mini probably, probably like, like this far in front of my head, that is the size that I see. So it's not bad, but it's also not like huge. The, the field of view is, yeah, I don't know, like 45 degrees perhaps, something like this. So it's not huge, but it is without a doubt like a nice size to watch a movie. Let me start this again. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful colors, great blacks. It's loud enough. I can absolutely see me using this for watching a video on a train, on a, on a bus or on a plane. But now, so I'm so actually surprised that this worked so well here with the iPad mini. But now let's try the switch. For this, I really don't think this is gonna work. And no, nothing happens. So this unfortunately, this does not seem to work. Let me start a game. Nope. Yeah, okay. So it seems like for this, I would most probably need, need a USB-C to HDMI converter and then this gets more complicated. But at least it's cool that I can use this on Android phones and with my iPad mini. Let me now show you the device through the lens. So this is my iPad mini and here is the Rokit Air. And because my camera is so close to the speakers, you will get a good idea how loud this actually is. Let's listen in for a moment. And the many good games in the store. Also, no external gaming PC or cable connection. Picture quality really is good in terms of colors, but also in terms how crisp the picture is. But check out the size so in the background you can see my desk and also you see that monitor that screen there and that actually is a 24 inch screen and now you can see it very good the picture size is a bit smaller even than a 24 inch screen that is an arm length away so now you get a good idea so this should have given you a good idea about the picture quality also you've seen that it's not 120 inch or it's not what you believe is 120 inch so what you've seen here now is the size and well directly behind it you saw my 24 inch screen which is like an arm length away so that is probably what you're looking at something across this kind of size so it's okay it's decent you can watch a video but it's not like huge and it's in my opinion, very important to understand. So what is my conclusion for the Rokit Air video glasses? Let's call them video glasses, not AR glasses, because there's really no AR functionality. Well, I must say these are the sleekest video glasses 
that I've used so far. The video quality is fantastic. The colors are beautiful. It's clear and clean and crisp. And you even have that diopter settings here, which is fantastic and in such a small form factor, really great to see. And I believe that people could have lots of fun. Let me put them on again. Watching videos on their using their smartphone, for example, using their Android phone or using their iDevice, those at least which have a USB-C connector to watch videos. So if you own an iPhone, you would need some kind of adapter for playing video games on a Switch. You will also need some ad ad adapter and this is not really practical. In my opinion, this is good for Android phones simply to watch videos in a good quality. Also the sound, it is loud enough. It is not a fantastic quality, but it, at least it's loud enough, loud enough in order to hear something. So that is good as well. The size of the virtual screen, well, 120 inch they say, well, if that 120 inch screen would be very far away, then probably yes, but it's an okay screen, just like I said, probably is comparable to a 24 inch screen that is an arm length away. And that is, that is good enough for watching a video. Now, could I imagine myself using this? Actually, yes, I could see myself using this in order to watch a movie in a plane or in train or wherever I am. This is well done. And the question is just, is it worth it $479 for you? Well, this is really for you to decide. But honestly, some might do it, but I still believe that the price still has to come down quite a bit for people to use this because for that price, well, you can get a Quest 2. Yes, it's not as sleek, but you can do so many more things, right? But as video glasses, these are really nice. And I do believe that some people might spend the $479 and enjoy the device. And that's everything that I got for this video. If you enjoyed it and if you thought it was informative, give it a thumbs up. And for the algorithm, make sure to leave a comment and do let me know what do you think of these? Do you think these are worth $479? And if you want, you can chat with me on the MRTV Discord server. The link is down in the description of this video and I'm waiting for you right now. Let's chat. Let's meet at the MRTV Discord server. And that's everything. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.